He says, You appear beautifully on the horizon of heaven, you living Aten, the beginning of life. When you have risen on the eastern horizon, you have filled every land with your beauty. You are gracious, great, glistening, and high over every land. Your rays encompass the lands to the limit of all that you have made. As you are Ra, you reach to the end of them. You subdue them for your beloved son. Though you are far away, your rays are on earth. Though you are in their faces, no one knows you're going. When you set in the western horizon, the land is in darkness in the manner of death. They sleep in a room with heads wrapped up, nor sees one eye the other. All their goods, which are under their heads, might be stolen, but they would not perceive it. Every lion has come forth from his den. All creeping things, they sting. Darkness is a shroud, and the earth is in stillness, for he who made them rests in his horizon. At daybreak, when you arise on the horizon, when you shine as the Aten by day, you drive away the darkness and give your rays. The two lands are in festivity every day, awake and standing upon their feet, for you have raised them up, washing their bodies, taking their clothing. Their arms are raised in praise at your appearance. All in the world they do their work. All beasts are content with their pasturage. Trees and plants are flourishing. The birds which fly from their nests, their wings are stretched out in praise to your ka. All beasts spring upon their feet. Whatever flies and alights, they live when you have risen for them. The ships are sailing north and south as well, for every way is open at your appearance. The fish in the river dart before your face. The rays are in the midst of the great green sea. Creator of seed and woman, you make the fluid into man, who maintain the sun in the womb of his mother, who soothe him with that which still is weeping. You nurse even in the womb. You give breath to sustain all he has made. When he descends from the womb to breathe, on the day when he is born, you open his mouth completely. You supply his necessities. When the chicken in the egg speaks within the shell, you give him breath within it to maintain him. When you have made him his fulfillment within the egg to break it, he comes forth from the egg to speak at his completed time. He walks upon his legs when he comes forth from it. How manifold it is what you have made. They are hidden from the face of man, O soul God, like whom there is no other. You did create the world according to your desire whilst you were alone. All men, cattle, and wild beasts, whatever is on the earth, going upon its feet, and what is high, flying with its wings. The countries of Syria and Nubia, the land of Egypt, you set every man in his place, you supply their necessities. Everyone has his food, and his time of life is reckoned. Their tongues are separate in speech, and their natures as well, their skins are distinguished. When you distinguish the foreign peoples, you make a Nile in the underworld, you bring forth as you desire to maintain the people of Egypt, according as you have made them for yourself, the Lord of them all, wearing himself with them, the Lord of every land, rising for them, the Aten of the day, great of majesty. All distant foreign countries you make their life also, for you have set an isle in heaven, that it may descend for them and make waves upon the mountains, like the great green sea, to water their fields and their towns, how effective they are, your plans, O Lord of eternity. The Nile in heaven, it is for the foreign peoples, and for the beasts of every desert that go upon their feet, while the true Nile comes from the underworld for Egypt. Your rays suckle every meadow, when you rise they live, they grow for you. You make the seasons in order to rear all that you have made, the winter to cool them, and the heat that they may taste you. And you have made the distant sky in order to rise therein, in order to see all that you make, while you are alone, rising in your form as the living Aten, appearing, shining, withdrawing, or approaching. You made millions of forms of yourself alone, cities, towns, fields, road, and river. Every eye beholds you over against them, for you are the Aten of the day over the earth. You are in my heart, and there is no other that knows you. 
Save your son, Neferke Peru Ra Wan Ra, for you have made him well versed in your plans and in your strength. The world came into being by your hand, according as you have made them. When you have risen, they live. When you set, they die. You are lifetime, your own self, for one lives only through you. Eyes are fixed on beauty until you set. All work is laid aside when you set in the west, but when you rise again, everything is made to flourish for the king, since you found the earth and raised them up for your son. When came forth from your body the king of upper and lower Egypt, Akhenaten, and chief wife of the king, Nefertiti, living and youthful forever and ever.